Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, February 25th, 2022. Glad everybody's here. Thank you so very much. So, um, hey, Ron, Ron, Hector, uh, is it Nemo, Nemo, Joe? How you guys doing? Good morning, Ed. I see you up there. So, um, do we have a reversal in this market? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I can't predict that this is actually going to be uh, a reversal right now. Um, what I can do, however, good morning, Dan. What I can do is I can follow price action with uh, some rules, uh, rules that I like, that I have, that I tend to use is I watch the price action and I watch the T line here. This is the black line and I watch the trendicator. Those are very important to me. To give me a little example here, there you go. The market's still in a downtrend. This is a, a good view of it. You can see the market is still in a downtrend. This is the SPY without any price action. This is the trendicator. The white line you can see there is the T line and the yellow is my three EMA. So when we look like this, we're in a downtrend. When we look like this, we're in an uptrend. So are we ready to turn? I, I honestly don't know. Um, you, you can't predict that sort of thing. But what you can do is you can trade the relief rallies. You can do that. Um, and we're going to look at some stocks that I think are set up for some relief rallies this morning. And uh, um, I wrote something down this morning, uh, this market, which I'm saying this market today, but the truth is this is every day in the, in the market. However, I do believe it's a bit more uh, to the point of the current market that we're in. And timing, profits, and controlled risk is, is so, so important right now. Um, we always talk about profits, and uh, we always talk about risk. So let me just touch on timing a little bit here. The timing has got to be right. Um, it's not hard to do. It, it's really not hard to do. In fact, let's just look at some charts. So let's look at UPST. Um, again, we don't really need to talk about profits or risk. I, th I think we beat that one to death. Most everybody understands that. But let's talk about timing. We have a bullish engulf here. Uh, we clearly, there we go, sorry, I was a little late getting to that little line. We clearly have a trend here. So what I'm looking for is a buy and then a buy when the timing is right and for me for my setups what I like to do doesn't mean it's what Dan or Ron or Hector likes to do it's what I like to do I like to see some bullish activity this is bullish activity and then for an entry area I like to see a 3h trap or a 3h trap breakout in there I want to see the T line above the trendicator those are those are some of the top things that I look for. I want to also look for a path to profits, and I see a path to profits on this. But timing is important. So as we look at this chart, we can't be buying it when I can't be buying it. I shouldn't say we, it's I. I can't be buying it way up here against resistance. I want to buy it down here, timing. As it moves up, I want to think about profits, timing. I don't want to maximize every trade, not in this market. I don't, I don't believe that works, not for me anyway. So you, 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 you map out those positions that you like, those charts, and then you wait for them. You wait for that timing. Right now, this is in my timing area right in here. And a nice swing up. Then, what's wrong with 38%? I see a lot of people working for more money up here. And what happens is, you know, you'll get a sell signal, which no big deal right off the bat. But what happens is it does another one, it does another one. But you get caught in this, you've made so much money and you've done so good. This, is, this has got to be the best stock in the world. This has got to be, oh man, this thing is going 
big time high. Heck, this is going to be a $500 stock, right? Well, it keeps moving down and then keeps moving down. And before you know it, you've wasted, uh, let's count some days here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You, you've wasted 11 days here just by this. I, I'm only a made up example. You've wasted 11 days on this trade. And instead of taking profits where maybe you should have, or even up here, I'm not saying this is where it has to be, just, you know, that timing, don't let it get away from you here. Um, so now you've wasted all those days, you haven't made all that money, and you can't get that back. That doesn't come back to you. You've got to start this process over again with another chart. Take fuel cell, for example. Here we have uh, a nice trend in fuel cell working. Now, let's talk about the turn. Let's talk about the turn. Here we are down, a downtrend here. Good morning, Paul. Uh, downtrend here. And now we've started that turn. I'm not interested in the timing down here because too many times that does not prove to be uh, timing. That just does not prove to be a good timing. It doesn't prove... To it doesn't prove that, hey, we are in fact going to turn. So I want to wait for that turn, a couple of lows, a couple of highs, that sort of thing. And you can see that right here. You can see the low, the high, the higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. This did make a higher, a lower low. Yep, it did. And then it came back with a big bullish engulf. So it kind of, it kind of, it kind of puts that out, I guess. It kind of, okay, let's ignore that. And then today, if we see follow through, then it says, okay, we're heading to that next level. Now think about timing here. There's nothing that guarantees that this stock is going to, in fact, go to this level or go to this level. So at this point, we want to watch price action, watch that timing, watch that price, and if price starts to move up, what's our job here? Our job is to make money. Our job is not to be right about $6.20. Our job is not to be right about $6.83. That's not our job. Our job is to look for a chart that can make us some money. That, that's what it is in a nutshell. So let the turn happen. Now, I'm saying that because there's a lot of charts right now, I mean a lot, that have been in a downtrend and starting that turn. Things like uh, pinball setups, rounded bottom breakouts, um, the 3 8 trap I think is, is going to just unload with a massive amount of, of uh, uh, good things for us right now. Um, I, I, I'm going to, I have an email I'm going to send out and I don't know that I have seen, um, in a long time where there's been a combination of, uh, say the three eights traps, uh, rounded bottom breakouts, pinball setups. I've never seen, I can't remember anyway, a, a time when, when there's been so much of a good thing. Now, I know the market's horrible. Don't, you know, I'm not being super bullish I'm, because it's timing. Uh, when the time is right, we stop buying longs. But we buy longs when the time is right. Right now, it's looking pretty good here. So, uh, anyway, boy, I'm going to, I better get going here. I'm going to be long time. Look at Nikola. Nikola, massive candle. Look at the volume on this. If we start to see positive trading, that's what we want. And I think everyone here knows one of my favorite trades is an inside day. And I, I consider that an inside day. You know, I know we're over it, over yesterday's candle. I consider that an inside day. Um, but then with me, you guys all know two plus two doesn't equal four. So I'm looking at uh, 885, uh, almost 10 bucks up here, then maybe 11 bucks up here. But let's think about this. If you were to make this trade, now consider this market, okay? 
And what I want you to consider is the the um, the problems going on in this market. The problems, uh, the problems in our world right now. So think about that timing. Timing is crucial. You unfortunately, I hate to say this. I I truly truly hate to say this, but we are forced to listen to the news. I hate that with a passion. That you've got to listen to the news. Because we have to, we have to, we have to figure out when is the market going to work. We can look at the charts and do that, but we also have to take in this this news piece right now. Oh, that just kills me. I'm going to be a wreck all day long just because I said that. But watch this price action, and as long as that price action is working, this is a good trade for me anyway. So I'm going to look at this. And if I get this entry in here, up into the 980 area is a 21% trade. Well, who's going to whine and cry if it only gets to half that? No one. Be happy. Be happy with that. That's You guys all realize that I'm. this is my, my morning talking to myself. This is what this is. My, when I do this here with everybody, I, I'm really talking to myself. It's, it's okay, Rick. Be happy with that trade. Ton of money. Plug. Plug may be setting up. Here's another chart. Coming off this bottom here. Uh, bullish and go of good volume yesterday. Look at that candle right in there. What a beautiful inside day. And the beauty of this is you know where your stop is. Stops are crucial right now. Don't, don't let risk get the best of you. Don't let risk beat you down. Um, Accept it, uh, embrace it, because as a trader, you will take losses. Trading is all about risk and eliminating risk. So I see this right down here. A, a simple, a simple way to look at this. If you know, if you have trouble putting stops in, or I don't know where to do that. You know, the simple thing is just take a look at this chart right here. Okay. Uh, we're going to make this red. We're going to make this big and fat. This is a downtrend. I'm going to go ahead and extend it. Okay. See, from here to here is a downtrend. All right. So what would tell you price-wise? We're looking at price now. As you look at price, what would tell you you're back into this trend? What would tell you? Well, what if we came below... The body of that candle right there. That would tell you you're back into that trend. And if you're long this chart, well, you don't want to be in that trend. You want to be in this trend that's just barely, I mean, I mean, just barely starting here, right there. And then you, you know, you could do that as well, right in there. So, uh, really easy to look at charts. Gain. Uh, broke my heart to put this on here because I'm not a game follower. I think game's personally a joke and a half. But, uh, you know, I can't argue with the chart. You know, I, I don't want to let my personal feelings uh, get into a chart. Um, so I had to put it on here. Um, game, we've got a nice double bottom down here. We've got a low, I'm sorry, a high, a low, higher high, higher low, higher high. We did come back. Take yesterday's candle out of the picture. Yesterday was one of these. One of these days, you really have to take it with a grain of salt. You really, really do. Because that was a news event. And then on top of that, it wasn't a game changer in the market. At least not for that day. The news wasn't a game changer in the market. It was almost instant. And then... All day yesterday, the market just kept climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. So really a wacko day yesterday. Very wacko. So a lot of yesterday's lows, I'm going to ignore. Just absolutely ignore. But I'm not going to ignore the candle because you or I did not put that candle in there. Uh, it takes big money to move this kind of candle. It takes big money to move the market the way it moved the market. Not... Not you and I. Hey, good morning, Nancy, Tom. Just saw you guys. There. So here we are again. Big candle. 
inside day, we're playing with that 50 period moving average, trend indicator is green. What would tell you if this trade started to fail on you? Well, if that's our downtrend, what if we got below this body, that, that, that bearish candle body? That's what I look at the body. What would it tell you there? So your stop would be in this area right here. Uh, hack, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit now. Um, hack, we've got a low, high. Take yesterday's candle out of the picture. Look at the previous day's candle, double bottom here. So yesterday's candle now, bulls came up. Look where we are, it looks like we're headed up. As long as we're headed up, that trade is alive. Watch for the sell signal because this market, I, I'm not at all suggesting that the bulls are in charge and we are going to all-time new highs. I'm not saying that. I am saying, though, I think we're in the midst of a relief rally. If you want to take advantage of the relief rally, for me, I'm going to take advantage of the relief rally, but I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for those clues when it's time to take those profits and step out of the way or switch to shorts. Step out of the way is if the market starts looking too choppy, uh, indecision, way too much indecision in the market. You don't make money in that. You make money when the market is bullish and you make money in the market when the market is bearish. You do not make money in the market when it doesn't know what the hell it's doing. Okay. Uh, CF, whoops, doggone it. I just, you know, let me type that in. CF, uh, CF, yeah, we looked at this a couple of times yesterday. Look at that nice little breakout here. And I think we're doing perfect right now. When the stock pops up, really what we want is we don't want to pay up here for it. We love those little pullbacks. Let that thing pull back. Watch for those buyers to step in. I'm going to lay this line right in here. Watch those buyers step in. When they do, that becomes a buying opportunity. Um, Nicola, we did that one. Plug, we didn't do that. Or we did do that. Sorry about this, guys. Hack, there we go, hack. Uh, actually, we did that one. Zip, there we go. Okay. So here we're way up here. Let me put this up. We're way up here. We come down. We build this bottom in here. And now here we're up. Again, I'm going to take yesterday's candle out of the picture. I'm going to take the low out of the picture. Look how we've got this doji, this big move up. We've got this doji here. Now take yesterday's bullishness, not the low, the bullishness. We've got this bullish engulf. And look where we're opening up right this thing is just poised to pop to the upside. And where the, one of the key things here is where would you not like this chart? What would tell you that this chart is not working out if you're thinking about putting a stop in? Um, here's a little thing about a doji, just so everyone knows. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to ignore that doji for the stop. And the reason is I think doji is about as worthless as tits on a boar hog, to tell you the truth. Their total indecision. What do I do? Where do you want to go? What movie would you like to see? You know, dear, where would you like to go eat? What would you want for dessert tonight? That's what a doji is. It, it's just as worthless as can be. The total indecision. So I'm going to ignore that. Um, didn't ignore that very well, though, did I? Oh, for that I did. There we go. So my stop would be the body of the top of the body of the previous day's candle. That would be my stop in there. And then you've got proper targets upside. Microsoft, take a look at Microsoft. A lot of people like Microsoft. A lot of people are watching Microsoft. Microsoft's a money maker. Microsoft is, is strong. I mean, it, it's a strong company. It's, it's one of those that can weather some tough times. Um, so I've got my eyes on this. Um, look at that candle yesterday. Uh, let's see, you guys probably can't see this too well. There we go. I'm going to darken that up a little bit. This is the uh, 500 uh, period moving average. It's a front weighted, and it's the average of the low. 
Uh, it's just like the dotted deuce that we use, just the 500. Man, we came right down to that perfect and great candle uh, as far as the finish goes yesterday. And now look where we are. Trendicator, that thing starts to turn red. I'm all about that. Um, one of the questions I get, aren't you concerned about this top right up here? Aren't I concerned about the 50 period moving average? Okay. Then just make that your trade right there. Now, those that scoff at 6.5% and all you think about is 50, 60, 78 percenters, I'll see you in a different life. Uh, a lot of traders live on this. I live on that. That's a beautiful number. Beautiful number. So if you're concerned about all that, make that your trade. Remember, you're a swing trader. Swing. It's very simple. CHGG. Man, I came so doggone close to buying this yesterday. Um, but I didn't. I already have enough long positions, and I don't even know that I'm going to buy too much today other than maybe maybe some day trades. Uh, I, I just don't know if I want to hold any more over the weekend. But this one here, man, I came so close to buying that yesterday. Beautiful chart. Look at that morning star right there. And uh, the trendicator has turned green. T lines above the trendicator. We're in, we're above the 50 period moving average. This is a rounded bottom breakout. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that consolidation that uh, has been happening in this. Uh, beautiful chart. So anyway, there's some trade ideas for today. Put them on the watch list. Um, sometimes we, we need to really talk about a watch list. I think that's one of the most important uh, tools for a trader and probably the, one of the most least talked about. So we really need to talk about that one of these days on how you put that wall watch list together. All right, you guys take care. I'll be back here in about 15 minutes, and let's try to have some fun today, okay? Thanks a lot.